You are allowed to erase anything from existence, and you will be the only one that remembers it. What do you get rid of? Mosquitoes. Wikipedia says nearly 700 million people get a mosquito-borne illness each year resulting in over 1 million deaths. Damn. Mosquitoes are annoying, but I think I hate ticks even more. Both mosquitoes and ticks are rampant in my area during the summertime, and finding 8 plus ticks on me after a short walk to my camping site is really maddening. I can never truly be sure I've gotten them all off. WW1 but not WW2. Imagine the confusion. WW2 would be the Great War, and different reasons would be there for starting it. You would be the one who is confused, because the world wouldn't be the same as now. Just imagine what the world would be. That time I said you too after the waiter told me to enjoy my nachos. Alternatively, you still say it, but the waiter takes it as an invitation and the two of you enjoy nachos together. The awkwardness is still erased. That's already reality. He already forgot the mayo. Multi-wipe chizzes. One wipers from here on out. As someone who literally just dealt with this, I'm now voting you for president. Sometimes when I wipe, I wipe and I wipe and I wipe, like 100 times, and still, poop, still poop. It's like I'm wiping a marker or something. Bed bugs. When I gave this reply, I had no idea it would trigger such visceral reactions from so many people. Some of your experiences are the stuff of absolute nightmares. Hopefully, those of you who suffer from bed bug induced PTSD, allergies or hypersensitive skin, etc. regain something from hearing you're not alone. It's been an eye opener for me, I've only imagined these experiences. Request to the biochemists out there, please work on an answer. Maybe a safe, anti-bed bug equivalent to the tick medicine given to dogs. Turns out that's the only thing I'm allergic to. I mean, aspirin hurts my stomach, but I can take it if need be. I still haven't recovered from the permanent skin changes from getting noshed on like a shrimp toast tea underscore tea. Hear me out. We are really good at killing things. We have nukes, missiles, geese, and on a more positive side we know how to destroy really ducking tiny bad stuff in our bodies with modern medicine etc. Why the duck haven't we found a way to get rid of bed bugs? Corrupt politicians. It'd be interesting to see who doesn't disappear. Yeah, all lobbying. ITD be great if our country ran like it was intended to. Child abuse. I would not want to be the only person who remembers child abuse. No therapist would know how to help me. It would be awful. Such an underrated comment. It's a cycle, and it would help so many orming it made, as if it never happened. Spoons with lids. Huh. You crazy son of a bitch. Porn. Hey guys I have this great idea. What? That's such a strange concept, that no one's ever heard of, it'll never take off. And you pay them to do what to each other on video. I isn't paying someone to do that illegal, not if it's on video. Sold. Goddamn coronavirus. Coronaviruses be looking at each other like, do you want to erase all of us or just COVID-19? This would actually potentially be awful. Western nations weren't affected by SARS-CoV in 2002. As a result, while several East Asian countries were ready to spring into action against the current pandemic, the West was caught with its pants down. Something far more infectious slash deadly is eventually going to come around someday. We're very lucky that time wasn't now, and there is a silver lining in that COVID-19, as terrible as it is, will significantly strengthen our government's immune systems against such future pandemics. Depression edit. Thank you all for my highest rated anything. I hope everyone can stay healthy, and for any of you that are sick, I wish you a speedy recovery. Edit 2. Thank you kind stranger for my first award and then you even more kind people for the upvotes. Depression is a huge battle that I hope one day we can overcome, and I want anyone who has depression, anxiety, and numerous other mental hardships to know you're not alone. Edit. Thank you guys for the comments and the silver. Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell were two of my favorite human beings on the planet. I've never met them, but it's just sick how much you can connect with somebody listening to their music and watching their interviews. R.I.P. Chester Bennington. My favorite singer too. Colon open bracket. The time I chose my pants in 5th grade. Yes this is where my brain went to. 
My most embarrassing moment, not when you chiz your pants. You just want to wipe that stain from existence. Circles. They're pointless. Take my upvote and duck off. Go to bed dad. I raise your post and post it myself. You could end racism, cladism, or even the band the if for spring. And you choose upvotes? Pedophiles. Let's say that, rather than vanishing people, what goes away is any attraction between an adult and a person say. 17 or younger. Like adults just aren't attracted to you, until you hit a certain age. And that includes visual depictions of youths as well. Maybe before then only other young people are attracted, so people still date in high school. Can you imagine how the media landscape would change in, say, 3 years? We would stop seeing the hypersexualization of young actors. People would find even the suggestion distasteful and repellent as opposed to scandalous and intriguing. Musicians would stop preying on teenage groupies. Film and music producers would stop taking advantage of vulnerable young talent. Even having adults portraying hot 16 year olds wouldn't be a thing anymore. We see no one would find it appealing. The CWTV network would go into a tailspin BC if superpowered teenagers aren't hot anymore. What is their network even for? MTV in free form too. People would be able to somewhat trust churches again. I say somewhat BC adult nuns get abused too. Or rather, child abuse and pedophilia itself. Not the people that have those attractions. The vast majority of those with those attaching fight it every day and never give in. And I would love to relieve them of that burden, but not get rid of them. Now the monsters, the child abuse, sure. Anti-vaxx as two words is my most upvoted comment and I have an award. Thank you nice stranger. Surprised this doesn't have more attention tbh. I would get rid of the possibility that genies don't exist and don't belong to me. Thus creating genies that belong to me. I would then do whatever the hell I want. Edit, I changed the word rule to possibility because someone pointed out that just because I changed a rule, that doesn't mean the opposite will happen. Also thus was spelled as this. Edit 2, wow does this make me the lord of genies? I basically have an infinite supply of genies. My next act as genie lord is to spend a whole genie to make it impossible to negatively affect me using genie wishes. This is too big brain for anyone to handle. You still got only 3 wishes. COVID-19. Everyone wandering around wondering why the duck they have 500 rolls of toilet paper and no job. Life would return to normal. There wouldn't have been a panic toilet paper has but one roll. People that abuse animals. Does that include farm animals and paying for animal abuse? If so, we'll have a much smaller population. Amen to that. Stands not existing in real life or cancer. Solve both problems with crazy diamond. Stands? What's a stand? My mum's cancer. She would be alive. And I'd have time with her I should have treasured. Edit. Thanks slash you slash neons 26 for the silver. You are too kind. So sorry to hear about your mother. My mom parted away from cancer almost two years ago now. I miss her every day. My mom died from a brain tumor two months ago. It was only three and a half months after diagnosis. Not enough time to resolve a few things that we should have. Health problems across the board. No one can get sick. Ever. We grow old naturally. No diabetes. No obesity. No heart issues. No cancer. Etc. But whatever will all the nurses and doctors do? Slash said it. Do people not know what slash s means? There are a lot of people acting like him serious. While it's nice, it's going to be a huge problem for population. I think most people don't die from growing old. They die from complications due to growing old. Heroin. Being a brand new EMT and knowing about 3 overdoses in 3 consecutive days is a lot. Two of which I was on scene for. One of which the part didn't make it. Never mind. All the people I know who used slash used. Just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. I can't imagine the mental or physical toll your job takes on you, but I respect and appreciate all the hard work you and your comrades do on a daily basis. Best wishes. Myself whoa. That's actually crazy. You erase yourself from existence, but only you remember. Do I even exist? 
Scroll down looking specifically for this. I feel you man. The stingray that killed Steve Iwin. Steve Iwin probably won't approve cause he knew the risks. What he would want would probably be that the stingray was just at a different place at the time so both the stingray and Steve is alive sorry man. But he'd still be dead. Right now, coronavirus but keep the newfound respect for medical workers and retail workers. Cockroaches. The genie has granted your wish to the best of its ability and they can no longer reproduce. Now they are just roaches. Daylight savings time. My cancer. Good luck buddy, you'll be alright. Don't give up dude, you'll overcome this. I don't know, I forgot. But you would remember. The Kardashians. Instead of just them, how about celebrity obsession mentality? Racism. Bay in Animal Crossing. No, wait it's at least a C+. But my language gets so colorful when I have caught my fourth sea bay in a row. Trump is right there at the top of my wish list. It's probably not great that the first thing I thought was mayonnaise and then the second thing I thought of was ranch on pizza and I didn't think of Nazis until slightly later. My priorities are not in order. Duck you, ranch on pizza for life. Fried chicken, then I invent it again. Transphobia. Thank you. Came here from the other post. Have some upvotes and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for your service person who most likely has pronouns, but I'm not arming anything here. Have a good day. Since covered is taken, sadism is human impulse. The desire to inflict pain. It actually guides a lot of human behavior and history. Look at the history of torture. Everything from sibling abuse to institutional torture. Or maybe pain. People would have to figure out how not to touch flame and choose some other way at it. People seem really hooked on pain for self-protection. But we are talking about fiction. I guess alternately pain would only exist as a warning for self-preservation. Pain is a good teacher. Humans would probably go extinct if we didn't have a physical reminder not to do dumb chis. The Last Ebb and a Movie, the two Percy Jackson movies, and Dragon Ball Evolution. What movies? The idea of slavery. Cancer various other things like my autism and stuff. Greed. That takes care of most things. The Chen muscular dystrophy. Donald Trump. This is surprisingly far down on this list. The Beatles lol. Anyone know if that movie was any good? The Chinese Communist Party. My debt. Psychopath slash sociopath slash narcissists. Mufflers that make your obnoxious vehicle more obnoxious. TikTok. Religion. Definitely religion. I like being Jewish. That's gonna leave a lot of blank spaces in history. Abusive people. Everyone's dead. Hate. That's what she said jokes. I will be the funniest guy in the world for a few minutes. People. Duck lips. But then how would the ducks kiss each other? Colon open bracket. Carbon emissions. Neonat is regular Nazis. The Earth's second moon. Game of Thrones season 8. I would take one for team humanity and be the only person on the planet that has to carry the burden of knowing complete and utter disappointment. Sexual predators. Evil. Evil. I mean all of it. Evil is subjective though. Like Karen might view vaccines as evil. Yeah no, I'm seeing a bunch of good ones here. Corrupt politicians, pedophiles, Nazis, neo-Nazis, Rupert Murdoch, chump, greedy people, genocide deniers, etc etc. Folks, I can help you all out, I'd erased out your bags. But then how would I get my vagina to smell like a meadow in the springtime? Diseases. All of them in a single word. Social media. Student loans. Groups that walk for a breast on a sidewalk. Men being treated worse than women for crimes. Fox News. Autics. 
inequality. This could take a wild turn if we don't get more specific and whoever's granting this is an A. Like imagine a world where everything had to be equal. Schedules. People. Wait. Symmetric faces? Like, that'd be crazy. Hitler and his supporters. Communism. Wasps. Ducking hate them. Spoons. They've had it good for too long. Two-party system in the US government. China. The whole concept of war. Duck war. Donald Trump. The Beatles. This is a movie. Corrupt politicians. Racism. Ads without X buttons. COVID-19. Islam. First husband. I was only one in a long line of women he beat and abused. Child abuse. Pedophiles. Stan slash celebrity worship culture. Cigarettes. Kardashians. Cardi B. Ignorance. Cancer. Oh my. You watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.